All right, what's good, ladies and gents? Sorry for the lighting in here, kind of shitty. Um, so we are gonna be unboxing and putting together a couple of planes here. Um, I got ahead of myself a little bit, and I was like, you know what? Maybe I should record this, um, which I should have from the get-go. But I ended up taking this guy out, assembling it. Yada yada yada. It's a fun cub. Um, their newest one. Pretty legit. <clears throat> um so yeah this should be fun a lot of good reviews a lot of people love this airplane um oh here's some of my other ones a little timber and then a little amazon plane corsair but right here we got the umx twin otter the umx radian those are the small ones the new erratics and then the night radian um i do have the old or the yeah the consendo version of that which is up there with Draco and then the Night Timber X. I also have the um, day version of that and then say hello to my cat. So, yeah, we're gonna be assembling these puppies, putting them together, programming them, and then going and doing a nice maiden flight on a whole bunch of planes. So, uh, yeah, should be a fun time. So, first up, why don't we do this little UMX Radiant? This one, I bet you, will be super simple. It'll just be probably sliding those wings through. So let's see what we've got. And there it is. So, nice little baby. Look at it. So small and cute. Should be a nice little flyer. Super light. Bet you this thing will be staying up in the air for days without any um, or very much power. So there it is next to the UMX Timber. I'll probably end up bringing some of my other planes just so we can put them next to each other. And the other ones that I've got that are the uh, UMXs. But just so you guys can see here for size reference in case one of you guys has one of these. Here's the wing. And then kind of wing tip to wing tip. You can see how much longer that sucker is. So anyways, there is that one. Now, based off this box, Bet you this guy will be assembled. Um, so let's uh, open it up and take a look. Yep, so there we go. This one comes assembled. Pretty cool looking though. Um, nice small plane as well. This one has a cool color scheme going on. And then let's go over here really quick and compare it to the others. This one is a little twin engine. Um, uh, let's see, the wings look to be about the same length as uh, timber. Obviously, if those are the same, then they're definitely going to be shorter than the radians. Um, and lengthwise, they're pretty much the same as uh, the radian there. It might be a tad longer, definitely a lot heavier, as uh, can be expected. So, we got those three. We've got the fun cub now. Now, on to some of the bigger and more fun ones that we will be having with the Erratix and the Night Radian. We'll see, what do you guys think? Kind of uh, same, same, but different, different. <laughs> Look at the freaking size difference of this. It's pretty hilarious how big uh, these things are. Now this one's a two meter, um, as you can tell, she is a beast, but yeah, so it should be fun. Just wanted to compare glider with glider, just for fun, just so you guys can see what the size difference are. And here we are, Operation Night Radian is done. So I'll give you guys another little um, reference as to how big this guy is compared to the UMX version. Come on, just stay there. So there's a UMX version, and there's Radian. So again, this is a two meter, so yeah, it's just gonna be a little big, and then we got a curious dog over here, wondering what the heck that is. Luckily, he doesn't like to chew on these, so. My apologies for the uh, bad lighting, too. It's uh, on a Monday, it's super rainy, Pretty rare here in California, so you're gonna have to excuse me for that. But uh, yeah, let's get on to the next one, which is gonna be the Erratics. Let me get these two out of the way, and then uh, we'll get right after it. Well, here you are. Here's the uh, Erratics. There she is, tucked, 
tucked all up in there, all nice and everything. So looks like I'm just gonna have to undo this tape right here, here, and here, and then should pretty much, for the most part, pull out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Put this little guy together, and uh, yeah, it's pretty big. Um, I will do a little size, little size reference. Um, with the UMXs here in a little bit so you guys can see so for some of you that may not have you know one of these but you're looking to get one a bigger one than what you have now so you can kind of see not in real life but if you have one of the other models you can kind of see how big it is in relation to that so uh, yeah let's get right to it so I did kind of label this as uh, an unboxing video, so got to do at least one unboxing, right? So this is one of the newest ones, so maybe not a lot of people have seen this one, but yeah, pulled out this first section, and the little landing gear is stuck on this sucker. And then you can pull out this guy, super cool. And this is uh, my first little foamy, um, super narrow. All it is is just receivers and servos and your battery and very little material this is gonna be super sweet a little fun story about this while i unpack it um i actually ordered this last week and when i was looking um two days ago online it had said that it was going to be on back order um till if i recall correctly it said may um i was like yeah I, i'm definitely not gonna wait that long to get this guy because this was like the most exciting one that or not most exciting one but the most excited one that i was um planning on getting and flying just because of its like capabilities and the ability for you to probably crash this thing while you're trying to do um low altitude 3d things without banging it up too bad you know so yeah i wanted to get that thing and start flying it because i wanted to work on the skills so anyways um yeah ended up finding it um at one store that was like 30 some miles away from my house but i was dedicated so called horizon told them i needed to cancel my order they're all right with it obviously uh i'm like an elite member or something like that now from i got their sweet membership i'd recommend it if you guys don't have it um customer service is awesome but anyways um yeah so there you have it there's a unboxing ish video of uh what this sucker looks like and so i'm going to bust out the instructions which are right here on the side and see how they want me to put this thing together and uh yeah and do it hi kitty all right ladies and gents we have got our planes up and going so like i said uh when we finally get out to the field this is going to be the first uh maiden flight for all of them um so it should be cool very interesting day of flying well i lied to you guys other than um the umx timber i have flown that one um but otherwise all these other ones i have not flown so <clears throat> it should be interesting should be a fun day that one will take a little bit of programming just because it's not like these other ones where they're easier kind of like uh a bind and fly uh, type deal so we're gonna learn how to do that for the first time and uh, yeah go get after it see how these all fly and I will say when I was putting the erratics uh, on or when I was putting this guy together um, this was definitely the the hardest part right here was the rudder and if you guys can see or the elevator I should say my bad um, as you guys can see here Got some wear marks. This was super tight, sliding it from the left side to the right. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe you guys will have better luck with that, but uh, it took me like at least freaking 10 minutes to get that through because I was having to slide it in through here and be careful because this is very, very, I shouldn't say flimsy, but you can definitely easily damage this if you bend it or trying to pull it too hard. So, yeah a little bit of a cautionary word there i did see other people when i was doing this i went and looked up on youtube to see if they struggled at all and it didn't look like they did very much so 
Maybe mine was just a little on the tighter side. So, yeah. But anyways, very cool looking plane. Um, so, I guess I will just see you guys out in the field where we're going to go fly these puppies. A uh, buddy of mine will be joining me, so we will have more planes in this. Um, so, yeah, should be a good time. Um, and hopefully you guys uh, enjoy this video. All right, boys. So, we just finished up binding everything with this old guy right here program, jay dude. young we can take the sprinter look at all that fun back there oh my goodness oh god hopefully we get to fly everything today but uh yeah there they are they all fit ready to go let's get after it so we have arrived we're all unloaded getting the bats ready oh. we got some overhead have some things. This guy's about to munch down. That's good. They got label wrong. We got the planes out. Oh my goodness. I know. I, I was asking Josh if he even brought any planes because he brought that. Everything else is meal, but it's all good. He's going to be able to. Uh, maiden flight this one. This one is favorite one. So we're gonna let a maiden that guy if he crash it. Oh well But yeah, this her field mm -hmm. Ignore that sign is everything here. <laughs> oh man, dude. So oh, man. we gonna what are we taking bro? Uh, we got the, the p51 here. Yeah. Yeah, we got a Got the stock four blade on her mm -hmm. Pull the bombs off or the gas tanks mm -hmm. Then we're gonna try her on a two blade and figure out if it's that much faster Hell yeah, so we got it reading right now We got 16 sats, we got it reading, we got it on flying So it'll tell us the max altitude and max speed as well And uh, yeah, we're gonna send her Good to go Let's see, might even actually We only got 22 Here's up <laughs> film this on the GoPro so uh, sadly we can't zoom in but you guys should be kind of able to tell there come over the top full throttle bring it down for dive fast get the max speed out of her yeah she's going pretty good I'd say Ooh. she wants to climb and roll she needs trimmed out. Let her rip, Tater Chip. Wow, she's up there. Damn. Oh, I don't know. We're going to find out when we get down to the ground. I don't think the Bluetooth will reach that far from here. Let's, Let's see. see. Uh, Is there a high speed path? No, it wasn't able to be. Yeah, it is. See, the little baby Corsair was way harder to tell which direction it was going right here. This big old thing, way easier. So, earlier I took out the little Corsair right as we got here to warm up my thumbs. And it was a lot harder to tell compared to one of these big old planes. Well, I shouldn't say big old planes, but bigger planes. Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. How's she feel, dude? Tell me a little bit about nice, her. Nice, dude. She's locked in pretty tight now that yeah. it's trimmed out. Okay. It's kind of wild how um, quiet this thing is. It feels good. It feels like a nice locked in, like pretty easy to fly, pretty easy to orient. Kind of hard to tell where that tree is. <laughs> Are you feeling that too? Yeah. Hold well, a second, kind of pull back. Because uh, let's try with a notch of flaps, what it looks like. Slow, slow fly around with a notch of flaps. Let's, let's see. What a stall looks like with a notch in there. Man. Let's slow her down. Too bad I can't zoom in. Pull back, see what happens. Slow down. That stall there. Oh, there it goes. Damn, that took a little while. Yeah, you gotta get it pretty deep in the stall. 
We got a voltage alarm in there, so should go up. When she's low, let's take a quick practice like approach. This thing does take some space to get down and get the speed out of it. Let's try coming into the wind, even though there's not much. We'll kind of just drop it and like tight yank here to drop some speed with no throttle. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. gonna be easy. <laughs> Take out flaps. You can go in for a landing or you can wait a little bit. Oh! Hell yeah! Do a little Emmelman. Little hammerhead action. Let's see it. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Good thing it's quiet. Yeah, it is. So you can hear almost the wind. <laughs> Little blinky four blade. Yeah, we can try. You hear the wind out of anything. We can try landing. Okay. Let's drop a notch of flaps, drop gear. Let's dive it down pretty good, get some altitude out. Okay, we're going to be short, so a little power. Oh, oh! Whoa! <laughs> you almost became oh best gosh. friends with that sign. That sign, come out of nowhere. Oh, <laughs> uh, shoot. I'm going to practice again, okay. Or I bring Dude, it might even, like it might even be better. Us. It might even be better if you start from that side. Look, bank right, and come back this way. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Extendo Sidoka, the runway. Oh. Yeah. What's up, light? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, fence. Oh! <laughs> How'd you just dive it in last second? Well, she's down on the ground. Oh my god! And uh, she looks unharmed, oh, so dude, this will be all right. Far. Man, last second I just had to punch nose in. Just... Dude, that's why I think coming in this way, to the right, because would be why way are you sweeter. Intentionally shoot short. This doesn't slow down like a bush punch. Oh are yeah. You all good, homie? Oh yeah. Good. She's solid. He's like, dude, what was that? Okay, let's see if it connects up. <laughs> Look at your little marks. <laughs> the wheels. Now, let's see. Oh my gosh. Can you read? Oh, that's reading the yeah, last you're one. you're right. I guess if I land... Oh, no way. What? Bro. 87 miles an hour and 627 feet was your max height. <gasps> Damn. Out pretty good. Damn. Oh, I'm, I'm 399 feet. Damn. 87? 87, dude. Almost hit 90? Almost. So you think swap blade or prop and then, uh... oh yeah, she's gonna do 200 today, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. We're back on the ground. We got the new thing? prop. What prop do we got on there? We're going from this four blade or what is this thing? A 10.5 by eight. Uh -huh. We're going to a 1210. E. 1210 E. Okay. The um, <clears throat> the what you might call it? Uh, what that brand? Um. <laughs> I need to find a little spacer ring for the inside. Oh okay. So now you guys know that's what we're gonna be testing out next. So uh, yeah, we'll be back as soon as we get this thing ready to go. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Boom. Oh! Oh no. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Shiza! Grass a little long here, dude. I know. Well, those bumps aren't helping you much with those little wheels. Alright. You guys take off a little slower. There she goes. Bye, girl. So, yeah, we got, got it going again. Got that two uh, blade prop on there now. So, we're gonna see. Fast. Wait, oh, faster. oh, God, yeah. Yeah, that's zippied. Get up there and just dive bomber, dude. See how yeah. fast we can get her? Nice. Oh, your timer going off with that, dude? Yeah, because I didn't reset. Uh oh. It's all good. Ooh! <laughs> Zam, boy! 
I dig it. I dig it. Let's try again. Okay. I'll come more this way, then we'll uh, go on. Okay. Okay, ready? Got a mom and her kids over there watching the plane. They think it's cool. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh. Beautiful. Look at that thing, dude, just sailing. <laughs> Damn. Bro, nah. Did you bounce that prop? Did you get that signed off by an AMP? I, do. I don't know if that's very legal to you. That thing. <laughs> SCC by Captain G. Oh, okay. I like it. Sick. Anyways, we'll, we'll turn this back on uh, when he's going to come in for a landing. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm hitting the record button. Okay, we're live. All right, camera crew. What do you need? Dropping it down 10%, right over the light pole, the, the uh, P51 killer. Okay, okay. Bring it in nice and slow. Look out, camera crew. Couple, <gasps> steps. Couple steps this way, camera crew. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Okay, okay camera we're crew. Here. We're here. Okay, here Keep we go. Keep an eye on me. Let me know what you're going to do. All right. Watch out, that V22, I think it's trying to play chicken with us. All right, now we're 30, 30% uh, throttle, real locked in here. Uh-huh, uh -huh. Going to bring her over the top. Around the uh, timber killer, <laughs> diving her in, diving her in, diving her in. Between the shoot the gap between the posts. Here we go. Here I like comes. it. I like it. Here she comes. Oh. <laughs> oh, that, that gear. Do you see Sick. the one of the gears not all the way up? No. I think you're gonna have to come in closer for me to see that. I could. I wonder if that affected our high speed path. Uh -oh. Dude, I'm gonna drop gear and bring back up. It just got stuck. We're gonna have to try a high speed pass again. Okay. Let's get after it. Well, we know the take her up and loop her, loop her down. Yeah. We're also on okay. probably the bottom oh end of gosh. our pack. Dude, why wasn't I going tailwind for the dive? Oh yeah, this way, dude. It's coming oh, straight at us from right here. There you go. Ooh, she's far. Oh. Yeah, cool. Yeah, gear was actually up that time. All right. Well, hopefully, the pack being discharged. Didn't screw us too much. God, she looks beautiful up in the air. <laughs> that sounds cool. cool. Warbirds are, are fun. Usually, one's a cool plane. I'm going to have to get me one of these oh, warbirds. Do you hear that beeping? All right, gear down, flap down. Start the diver in. Which way are we coming in? Same way? Yep. Gonna dive her down here between the light poles. Bring her down, bring her down, bring her down. And start the baby flare, baby flare, and full flare. Yeah. <laughs> it does not like this tall grass. No, it doesn't whatsoever. I was full back elevator, but. What are you gonna do, dude? What are you gonna do? Well, they're baby this bumpy too. Let's I mean. see how fast it went. You got dude, your phone? GPS bumpy? Right? Of course I do. Of course I do. Bumpy and then all this shit, dude. I mean, can't fault yourself too much. Okay. All right. We got her picked up. We're going to stop. Read 94, Ooh. dude. <laughs> uh, I bet we could hit 100. <laughs> I bet we could. Oh my goodness. Cool. That's legit. Well, we got another uh, five, six, mm -hmm, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Although I did dive harder with the tailwind. Hard to say just yet. What's faster? This is true. We'd have to try a couple times with each. Yeah. But just off of initial, we know this two blade. A couple more. This two. How did it feel performance-wise? Is it a little zippier? Did you have to hit throttle as much to get it up there? What, dude? Come on. Pretty close, but. I gotta say, if I felt a little more ump, it was definitely with the two blade. I gotcha. Makes sense. That's why she was faster, right? Yeah, a little more ump. All right, what's next? You tell me. Let's go fun cup. Okay, fun cup it is. Josh's it. favorite plane. He actually told me to get this. He says, oh yeah, this is my color scheme, 100%. And I 100% agree with him. So 
gonna be her maiden he's gonna take her out so yeah we'll see how she flies so we didn't get the last landing on the fun cub we were kind of dicking around with the setting so didn't include that in here but we are on to the next one she's on the ground nice and safe over there Successful super maiden. fun i almost uh done crashed it over those trees but you know whatever <laughs> josh saved me um so yeah now we're gonna take the timber x out yeah and uh see how juice likes this thing yeah i've been waiting to see this thing yeah not arm what's wrong with it there, there it goes it took it a second a little grass dude you think? jump it off the grass right there you see that little oh hump? my god you see oh yeah oh yeah oh <laughs> Oh, oh shoot. Oh, say. Whoa. There Whoa. you go. Whoa. The wind, dude. Dude. The wind needs some serious trim. Does it? Yeah. Oh. Whoa. That was way down. <laughs> Back over here. Damn. That was pretty bad. It's really bad. Jesus. Still, huh? It's about there. Wow, this is a cool little... Oh, hi birds. Yeah. Wow, that was slow. I wonder what the winds are doing up there. Compared to down here. What do you think? 75 feet? 80 feet? Oh, okay. He's practicing his 3D moves now. So we got that one successfully back. I flew a little bit off camera. I dropped the GoPro and then we didn't turn it on while I was flying, but nothing interesting that I was doing. So now we got the baby otter. Okay, Heck yeah. let's go safe. They say it has an actual hand launch mode. Right, where it detects it. Yeah, that's cool. Let's try it. Here you go. Here. Oh, you want? Yeah. Or you fly. No. You go first. Darcy blows. Okay. Oh yeah, let's trim this thing out. I'm gonna get on the drone real quick so I can get some footage of this one at least since oh, I didn't get one. one. Yeah. Well, well, let's do like the the erratic or something. Okay. Or night radiant. Well, something that goes slow. I don't have enough bat for the erratic, so we'll just wait for the radiant then. <laughs> but yeah. Let's just. Well, that one's up in the air. There was our maiden flight right there. Probably grab controls here in a little bit. Check yeah, her she's out. Flying good now. Yeah. Right. Trim her down. Was okay. that you? Was that you pulling up? Yeah, it was doing it on its own. Watch the. Uh, we do little scale, slow flyby. This thing does fly good. Look, I feel comfortable with this getting like pretty low and slow, just cruising around like a couple feet off the ground. <laughs> this thing's. It mellow. looks sick. It looks so cool. <clears throat> Mellow. This thing flies good. Really good. Okay, watch how weird it can get 
because of the differential thrust. Let's see. Oops. Hold on. Try again. Wait. Hold on. Let's get <laughs> you got it dialed more. now. I need to get a little higher. I think it's. What's... Oh. Was that it? There it is. Oh, that's so sick. <laughs> well, that isn't that a trick of some sort? I think so, but I feel like flat spin, inverted flat spin. Yeah. Except. I feel like I always watch those 3D guys freaking doing that. And that looked pretty badass. wonder how you do it on a normal plane. Like, how you do that, dude? Do it again. That was badass. I don't know. <laughs> I got slow and got it on its back. So I got slow and got it on its back. Uh-huh. Oh. No. Now it's feeling... Yeah, it's a cool yeah, little freaking is. bird. It's a cool little plane, dude. Look at it go. We can go real close to us. Let's try. Okay. Camera in. All right. Here we go. Uh, 40, 45% throttle here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Coming around. Minimal input. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, it just wants to fly itself. It wants to level itself. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> uh, Turn right around. I know you guys this saw that for sure. This might be the easiest plane of all of them to fly. Wow! <laughs> what did I do? I accidentally uh, pushed rudder. Oh. Good thing she's light. Oh, Look at oh! oh. <laughs> Took gear off. The front one. Let's assess damage. Pop out. Oh, it's okay. Just pop right in. Tight. That's a good design. Yeah. I like uh, touched rudder. Shouldn't have touched rudder and it like stalled that inboard wing. But she probably saw that happen. Yeah. yeah. They got its first crash out of the way. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so is that a successful or unsuccessful maiden? Uh, half, half. Here. Uh, <laughs> what you, you're oh, okay. safe. Here. You fly. Okay. All right, boys. Consendo V2. <laughs> ah! What the? I'm gonna send it. We, we're gonna send it. Oh, Jesus is back on the controls. Let me know. And she gone. Look at that thing. That looks pretty cool up in there, in the air too. It does. It's like a knife. Okay, let's take off safe and see how bad she is. Ooh. She real tail heavy, huh? <laughs> what do you think? Should I bust out drone skis for this one? No, this is a quick one. Okay. Alright, well that one's up in the air. We'll see if we get her back down safely. End of this one. Alright boys, we got Consendo down. Josh on the sticks. We got my favorite color scheme so far that I've seen on the Night Radiant. Let me know. Ready? <laughs> uh, that's a cool big bird. Plane skis. Oh, it's because you had on safe. Damn. Okay, bust out drone for sure on this one. Yeah.
All right, boys, well, we got her down on the ground. All bueno. So the only thing that ended up happening was this ended up coming loose and the tail was getting all floppy. But now we got baby. Consenda, or radiant, I mean. That we're gonna send. Yay. Kinda sound weird. Holding props kind of are sometimes. Okay, this one's cool. <laughs> because you can actually probably can't see that good, but how it feel? Nice? Good. Easy? Mellow? Yeah, this is cool. Super mellow. Because you can What are you trimming right now? Aileron. I got you. Or not aileron actually. Technically rudder, although there we go. This one's cool. Oh, I can't see that very good. Let's try power off. Oh, oh man. See if we can do a full, oh, 360, full 360 with no power. That is slow. Easy 360, no power. Can Dang. we make another 360 before we get down? If Easy, we keep dude. Gentle turn like that. Here, I'm going to get closer. I'm literally running with it. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it's just gliding like a glider does. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, well, I think it's pretty easy to say that that one's going to be able to get it put back on the ground without any damages. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. You dig it? So, I think that concludes basically most of the video. Unless we decide to fly anything else, but it's getting About pretty dark out. So easiest plane to fly imaginable. You heard it you fly from Juice. It okay, bye. Um, so what do you think? Oh, yeah, what's good? Uh man, that's a tough one. They were all very cool. I did enjoy like the huge inverted pull down dives in the P-51 trying to hit maximum speed. I think that was kind of fun. That was pretty cool. Sounded cool. Yeah, the bush flying though of the Fun Cub was by far like the coolest. Just putzing around mm -hmm. like super low. Super Getting slow. On, on the verge of the stall. Funny. I almost stalled it. Ate it. Almost into the tree. I like that. Ate me. That little baby radian was a lot of fun, just being able to just cruise around. I don't know if you get bored Def of that, but definitely so Definitely a easy. driveway, driveway flyer right there. Driveway flyer. Yeah. The gliders, getting them down in time is always a challenge, mm -hmm. which that challenge is kind of fun. Yeah, I agree. Between the two, I don't know. I think I'm a little more, I like having the ailerons. I do like the Consendo. I would love to see the Consendo on Forest. I think that'd be cool. I got to order a new battery. Apparently yeah. the one that I brought was a little too big, too heavy. That twin, Couldn't get the balance right. The twin otter, I think, is really fun. They cruise around low and slow, too. Yeah, definitely. Great. That's a fun play. That thing, like, leveled itself. You almost didn't even need safe for that thing. It must be, like, the dual prop that's on there or something. Uh, that's I don't a fun know. Play. Yeah. The erratics. That might the have been erratics. my favorite, honestly. That was a lot of fun. It just uh, really predictable, flew slow, well, yet if you wanted to get nutty give you more than you can handle so I'd say that that was probably the most fun plane to fly scariest <laughs> night radio is really cool the lights are awesome all yeah. really cool planes yeah. can't say much bad about any of them the little baby timber good too although the stalls can that get thing, weird with that thing that was twitchy I would say that was probably like the twitchiest of them all just yeah. because how big that control surface is, even though it's a small plane, there's a lot of control surface there for how small of a plane it is, I feel. And I think those square, like, clipped wings just can get kind of come unhinged really easily, too. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That thing's a little bit of a handful, but it's a fun play for a little driveway flyer, too. If yeah. you keep it fairly flat, you can get slow in it. Just be careful with turning it. I don't know, man. I like them all. What about you? Oh, well, there you go. I mean... I'm kind of there with you on just about all that. All we, we, well, we kind of shared a little bit of what we felt each one was like. So, yeah, definitely a bunch of cool planes for different purposes and depending on how uh, you fly or how you like to fly. 
man. I so. would love to see the Fun Cub in more like bush style settings with like smaller strips. Because in a huge open field like that, it's kind of like, yeah, whatever. Because the fun in bush planes obviously is. It's getting techy with them. Yeah. It's getting techy. So a smaller, tighter spot would be really interesting to, to have fun with the Fun Cub. Yeah, definitely. Well, stay tuned. That might just uh, be coming right up here. Pretty yeah. soon, eh? Let's do it. What do you think? Yeah, uh, yeah. let's get out some timbers too. Oh, the uh, timbers. I was just making this video. Oh, Draco. Yeah. I have a bush flying. We do have to have Draco out. But, uh, yeah. So, anyways, good video. Thanks for hanging out, Juice. Oh, Thanks yeah. for programming, man. Oh, dude, thank you. That was a fun day. Heck yeah. Enjoyed it. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Bunch of cool plants in one video. I haven't seen that one on Tutu before. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Adios. Later.